me. Dane High School Sports Playoff Edition Week 2 and uh, today I have a special guest here. This guy makes plays uh, at defensive back U right now. He's a senior and he's aspiring to uh, go to a D1 college along with winning a state high school championship. This guy has been an impact player not only offensive defense, defensively but special teams as well. I got Ryan Lucas in the building man. How you feeling man? I'm doing good. Um, just blessed. Brave another day. Just came from church, so I'm feeling good. Oh, okay, he came from church. That's right. You got the Lord in the system. When God is in your life, things will work out. All right. A pleasure to have you on the show, man. Thank you. I appreciate All right. it. All right. Um, now, you've been in this. Uh, uh, you've been in this position. You're a senior now, correct? Correct. All right. Uh, you know, it's been. How how would you describe your high school career so far? Um, coming in as a freshman. I got took under the wing, luckily, by a lot of great athletes. And I also got to play a lot, mostly on special teams. But as a freshman, when we won state, I got to play a lot more than a normal freshman. Um, through the years, I've learned a lot under uh, Coach Graham and used to be Coach Douglas. But I've learned a lot, and I've uh, grown to become a good player. Now, um, I was talking to one of the coaches, and um, you know, they told me that you know. You were maybe not, maybe not doing some of the things. You maybe got sidetracked a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, you've you've refocused yourself, and you've having a great senior year. Um, what are you know? What were some of the things that made you refocus? You know, what clicked in you to want to refocus, man? What was it that? Well, first, um, I had a pretty bad knee injury. And for me, uh, not really having an injury throughout my whole life that set me out, it kind of uh, was a setback for me. But to focus myself, I just, to refocus myself, I uh, studied a lot. And um, so when I came back, I was still up to par on the X's and O's. Also, uh, my coach was talking to me and just telling me that uh, basically I can't pay for college. And this is my ticket. So knowing that this is my ticket, I need to put my all into it. You know, sometimes it takes a little while for people to understand implications of what they're doing. Um, obviously, you know, you're a talented kid. Um, you've been in a great system. And, you know, everybody, sometimes we, you know, we take certain things for granted. But obviously, you, you know, you understand the value of, of what you're doing right now. And you're, uh, from what I've heard, you know, you're like the captain of the team. You know, how does it feel to be a captain of the team? You know, last year, you weren't the captain of the team. You know, you were, you know, you were just kind of leaning back. You were doing your thing, but maybe not being a leader role. You know, how has maybe Coach Graham instilled that leadership role in you or maybe given you the confidence, you know, to be a leader? Or was that just something that you felt like, you know, you just wanted to start doing? It was just something that came natural. Well, uh, to me, being a leader, you have to have a good character. So. That allows me to become a better player because I always have to do the things necessary when people aren't looking. So when I do the things that's necessary when people aren't looking, as in practice, it makes me a better person. And I know that the younger kids and the other players are always watching me. So doing the right thing at all times is a good thing for a leader. But yeah, uh, Coach Graham, we had a serious talk in the beginning of this year, and he said uh, to become, to get to where we need to go, we need to be a family and we need to have a strong leader. So I took that role and I'm gonna try to get us to where we need to be. Well, if you've been blossoming this year, you've had a lot of key moments, a lot of key runbacks, interceptions, you know, just a lot of key plays. And uh, we're gonna come back here. We got Ryan Lucas in the building, uh, Trotwood High School. They're trying to get back to the state and try to win another championship. Dayton High School Sports, week two playoff edition. We're here at halftime Sports Bar and Grill.
got Ryan Lucas in the building, uh, Trotwood High School. They're trying to get back to the state and try to win another championship. Dayton High School Sports Week 2 Playoff Edition. We're here at Halftime Sports Bar and Grill. You guys, every every playoff, I mean, every uh, season, you know, defensive back you, that's your name. But you guys have been, every game, it seems like you guys are getting a key defensive stop early in the game, and it sets the tone for the season. Do you guys think that maybe the defense is the is the tone setter for the team? Yes, well, um, with five returning defensive backs, it's hard for teams to throw on us a lot. And we have two of the top defensive tackles in Ohio and three uh, D1 linebackers. So the defense would be the heart of our team. Now you guys won 41 to six. Bell Brook at West Carrollton. Um, that's a, a key interception early. Um, you guys got Wapa Kinetic coming up. Right. You know, they're a tough team. What do you think will be some of the keys uh, to winning this game, man? Uh, this game, we got to control the line of scrimmage. They, uh, got a pretty good defense and offensive line. But we got to keep them off the board. We can't let them score and score and score. And if they do score, we have to limit it to one or two. On the offensive side, we have to uh, – convert and make our big plays, as in when we go down the field, as in our screen plays and other things that give us success. Now, you know, Jeff Graham, Coach Graham taking over this year. Coach Douglas was in the last few years. Um, what, what, what type of style does Coach Graham have as opposed to Coach Douglas? Well, Coach Doug was a great coach, and he had us put toge uh, very well put together, but Coach Graham this year, we run everything more like a college system. Everything's timed, everything's fast, and everything's down to the exact piece where, where it needs to be. So if it's not pre precise, we're going over it over and over again until we get it to where we need to be. And that's what makes us a good team. So Coach Graham is instilling, you know, that, you know, that preciseness, that attention to detail a little bit more than Coach Douglas. Um, Nevertheless, you guys are still at pole position right now. Um, now, you, you had some colleges looking at you, correct? Correct. Um, some D1s. You know, who are some, who are some co coaches out there starting to come your way, man? I have a lot of interest from a lot of schools, but I've been uh, in close contact with Kent State, Eastern Kentucky, um, Eastern Michigan, Bowling Green, and Kentucky. So we see how the year plays out, and I should – have made a decision probably no later than January. Well, the MAC produces NFL players on a regular. It's a great, uh, it's a, a great division, and it's close to home. So that you know, nothing wrong with the MAC or Eastern Kentucky or some of those other schools. Now, uh, what do you plan on studying when you go to college, man? You know uh, what I mean? When I we go know, to college, we know you're gonna get to the NFL, but you know what you gonna <laughs> fall back on? Well, I want to be a, a sports analyst. I want to major in broadcasting. Okay. So I do pretty good with speaking and broadcasting. I broadcast some of our uh, JV home games and things like that. So that's something I enjoy. So I want to major in that. So this is right up your alley right here, man. Yes, sir. Feeling yes, sir. comfortable. I see. When you get ready to go in, ready for game time. What you listening to, man? You know what I mean? Well, first, on the bus, uh, we got a little thing we do. We all, our coach, Coach Graham, come back. Shakes all our hands and uh, asks us what our what our plans is for the day. As, uh, as, as the bus ride continues, uh, I'm either listening to some Chief Keith or some some that's hype, some that's gonna get me going for get me going a little getting bit. Ready, then, getting ready. As the um, as we get to our destination and the uh, place we're playing at, I try to slow it down a little bit, try to get focused like Drake or something like that. And as the game get ready to start, we have our own DJ actually that plays. So whatever he plays and turns us up to, that's what I'm listening to. That's what's up. What's that DJ? Who's the DJ? Uh, DJ Swift. DJ Swift. Shout out to DJ Swift. Doing it for Trywood. Oh, who's your favorite NFL squad? Uh, my favorite team is the Broncos. Broncos. How far are they going this year, man? Uh, we gonna win it all. We gonna win, win it all. all. Okay, okay. Um, favorite, favorite, who's the person that you watch? that you kind of patting your game after a little bit. I like watching T.Y. Hilton and Victor Cruz. T.Y. and Victor. Victor's hurt right now, but T.Y., he's balling out right now. Mm -hmm. He's balling out. Um, 
basketball on the basketball side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, so you be out there too, huh? Uh huh. So I've right. been starting as a so since I was a sophomore. Oh, so you you, you ready, huh? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. You'll get that state title, then you go mm -hmm. go hoop a little bit, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, now. Okay, so you, what you um what's your grades like, man? Uh, right now I got a 2.8 .8 overall okay. GPA. Um, but last quarter I had six six A's and a B. So I'm doing pretty good. Congratulations. Hey, Thank you. that's what we like to see here. That's why we have this man as athlete of the week. He can not only return punts and get interceptions, but he's getting almost 3.0 GPA and the colleges have got to love that. Um, is there anything you want to say out there to Ram Nation, you know, to, you know, the colleges? Anybody out there? Uh, I just want to say I'm a humble athlete and I'm looking for college. Um, I'm going to be a dynamic player to any college that I will be a great athlete and you will be glad that you didn't pass up on me. I would bring uh, energy to anybody's locker room. And I just want to say to Realm Nation, thank for all the supporters and the community and we will bring home a championship this year. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I got Ryan Lucas in the building. Um, you know, we want to present you with the Halftime Sports Athlete of the Week Award. Thank you. Um, you know, you do. We know that you, you made great strides this year in becoming not only a good player on the court, but a great uh, person off the court. Uh, you're doing well in your school, and we do look forward to seeing you in the future, not only with Trotwood, but in college as well. Um, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Um, it's Dayton High School Sports. This man, you can check him out. They're playing Wapakoneta next, uh, this weekend coming up. Uh, it will be a huge test. The winner goes to the state semifinal, and that's the final four. That, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Uh, Halftime Sports Bar and Grill, we're here. We're going to kick back, watch some of the game, check this guy out in the meantime. And if you're a college coach, you might want to take a look at this guy's highlights because he is doing it big, all right? Dayton High School Sports, we're out of here. We'll check you out in the meantime. This uh, we at Halftime Sports would like to congratulate Ryan Lucas on this week's Athlete of the Week. I'm proud of you, man. He, it took him eight weeks to get that down, but he got it. He got it. Um, this guy's Ryan Lucas. Uh, like I said, not only is he doing great things on the court, but off the court he has 2.8 GPA, he had six A's and a B his previous semester, and uh, he does a lot of community work, and he's a leader of his team, the captain, and so uh, we want to thank you for being here uh, tonight. Um, good luck in the future, and uh, we will be watching you, all right? There it is. There it is. I like to shout out all my coaches, all my teammates, DBU, playmakers, and the whole Realm Nation community. Thank you. I'm in the building. How you doing, man? All right, baby. Good. 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 Yeah. How you yeah. Doing? I'm good, man. I just wanted to come out here and show some support. Okay. Uh, you know, we got the 7-on-7 seven seven going down. How does it feel to be a state champ, man? Oh, man, it feels great, baby. <laughs> Hard work, Hard. dedication, <laughs> trying to focus back. Trying to refocus, trying huh? Trying to refocus and get our kids back in there. Now, what's the goals for the 7-on-7 seven seven specifically? You know what I mean? Specifically, because you know it's a receiver-related goal. I mean, it helps the defense as well. Right. But then it gives our quarterback opportunity to look at coverage. Because that's one of the biggest things. we got young guys that's going to play quarterback for us this year. Right. So he has to recognize coverage so he can execute all of them. Now, you got, the, you, got the, uh, you got the arrow on your back this year. You guys are possibly, you know, another, another championship. And you're looking at dynasty possibility here. How do you think, I mean, what's the intensity level that you feel like you're going to have to we're gonna have be to play, at? Yeah, we're going to have to play every game. Like it's like it's a state championship. Game. At me. And we got to go in comparing one game at a time. One play at a time and go from there. Don't look forward, don't look ahead. Let's just focus on the task at hand. Go out there, put our game plan together each week. And just focus on what we do good. As far as our offensive line and guys do well, we got two great backs coming back. And we don't want to put a lot of pressure on our young guys. There it is. We got one of the greatest to ever come out of the Miami Valley, Jeff Graham. Coaching here, try with Madison. Anything you want to say out there, Jeff? I love you, baby. There it is. Sports <laughs> Effect Live is going down. All right, baby. Appreciate you. All right.